Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. I wanted to talk to you guys about motivation, okay? So whether you are taking the board exam for the first time, the second time, the third time, whatever, it doesn't matter. I know there's a lot of nerves in, um, involved. I know there's a lot of anxiety involved. There's a lot of emotions. There are a lot of feelings. But try not to let those feelings get in the way and to have you guys think to yourself, you know what, I can't do this. This is too hard. You know, she didn't pass or I didn't pass the first time. I can't do this. This is too hard. You know, you might be looking at all of your notes, all of your textbooks and saying, I can't do this. There's no way that I can study all of this. But please remember, we were all students once too. So I have been a restorative hygienist for three years. I've been in the dental profession for 13 years though, almost 14 years. I had those same emotions, that same anxiety, but we all get through it. Remember your first day of the program, whether it be dental assisting, dental hygiene, you were nervous, right? Um, I still remember the first day of dental assisting, um, having this large binder of notes thinking it's for like the year. No, it was for module one, you know, month one and thinking, what did I sign myself up for? This is insane. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. Um, you know, so it's normal to go through all of those emotions, to be anxious, but you push through it, right? Remember your first patient in clinic, how nervous you were. By the end of it, you're like, this is nothing. This is no problem. We all have those emotions. Your, your first day at a new job, we all have those emotions. If you have kids, when you have a baby, you know, we all have these emotions, right? It's normal, but please try not to let it um, hinder you from studying. Do not let it also from making you study, you know, 12 hours every day and not having a life. So there's a happy medium. But the best thing you can do to pass that board exam is to study and to study and have focus. Do mock exams to test your knowledge. Read a couple chapters in the textbook every day or look at your notes in school, read chapters, watch lectures. I have I have tons of them here, you know, watch, watch a lecture every day, even you guys, um, for some of the shorter ones, watch three of them a day while you're doing laundry, cooking dinner, cleaning, getting ready, anything, but constantly be studying a little bit at a time. Do not spend eight hours studying oral pathology and that's it. You know, don't do that either. Mix it up, study, you know, two hours here, two hours there, two hours here with, um, six hours of studying every day day. But keep that motivation up. Think of even the bigger picture. Think of your future. See yourself passing that board exam. You know, feel how amazing that would feel to pass because then you know all of that hard work has been worth it. You passed. You are now a dental assistant. You are now a dental hygienist. And now you have to look for a job to, you know, put those amazing skills to good use. So just think positive. You can do it. Study hard if you guys need help. Sign up for the Board Exam Prep Academy because I will teach you guys everything. It is a full course. We tutor every single weekend. There are lectures. So if you don't like to read things, just watch me teach you guys. I have hour-long lectures every single weekend. There are mock exams. There are case studies. There's full-on um, support, everything, because I am here to help you guys, okay? So I hope this helped you guys be a little bit less anxious and know that you're not alone. You can do this. Reach out to me if you guys need anything. And thank you so much for watching and good luck.